Welcome back. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Celebrity Lab, but looking at how we can use it inside a console version rather than working with uh, the GUI version that we normally have. Now, if you've worked with Celebrity Lab, you've gone through and you um, were working through the process of the lab to go ahead and do that. You know that it has a, a, a GUI window that can, you can type into. It can show the screens. It has worked with that. Unfortunately, if you're trying to work with, say, for example, systems like Replit or you're uh, on a a Chromebook and you don't have access to that processing power and even using Replit using a GUI it's a lot harder it's a very very slow so we want to make sure we can have a way to do that same celebrity lab but work with it in a console fashion and so all we have to do is we have to just make a couple changes to make that happen so as you can see right here I've got my regular um, file list over here inside my um, celebrity console demo this uh, REPL is going to be deleted I'm sorry I'm not going to keep this open for everybody but it's here so we can just do a quick little demonstration and see some of the features for that and so we have a regular um, main it's going to start off with a celebrity console game app as a new celebrity game console no worries and so in my celebrity console game it's going to look a lot like what we saw inside the regular celebrity game app um, file itself it has a celebrity that's working with as an array this is celebrity game list you have to go through and do all that logic to put together however instead of having a view for it when we're using a, a frame or a a GUI component, we're going to just put a console with that, and that's where all that work is going to happen. And so in that console, you'll have to put a lot of your same logic you would be putting inside your celebrity and your uh, frame and your celebrity panel and making those uh, co that code work for a GUI sensation. But instead of working with that, using a um, user inter like clicking and buttons and stuff like that, we use the tried and true method of using a scanner and using that scanner to retrieve the data from the keyboard. That way it works easily inside this. And so we can go through and work all that same stuff. You have to do the same buildup of all your logic and structures. You just have to do a little couple uh, changes with that. Uh, specifically, when you're talking about the changes, uh, you do need to have a data member for your scanner, of course. You have the strings you'll be using inside that game. And then we'll use a time variable. This needs to be a long. That's something we actually cover as part of the regular um, course an exam description subset of Java, but it's a bigger number because when we're talking about the uh, timing values, you have to have that um, just inside there. We do have to also have a scroll console method. A scroll console method is because you can't clear the console. The console is owned by someone besides the JVM. It's owned by the operating system, and so we can't just simply just wipe it clear. That's something we don't have access to, so we, we'll just use a, a scroll console method, which basically just is a lovely for loop to dump out a whole bunch of blank lines to clear out the screen. I know it's not efficient, but it, it's a great way we can make that work. Uh, we also have to do a display the game, and so that's how we're going to show up the text that goes inside that. And that um, takes a string as a parameter and determines what kind of screen we're going to show are we showing the opening part of the game we're asking for celebrities we're going to show the actual game itself and it uses that along with the scroll console method so we can go through and actually play that out and then we of course have our play game method where we're going to do all the playing for that so we can make sure that happens and we have to do a setup for the console so we can load all the pieces together and get it ready to go. And so that's the basic structure on that. When we're talking about the celebrity itself and the subclasses of that, those are all the same. There's no changes that have been made whatsoever. And when we talk about the actual game itself, we do have to change the constructor just a teeny bit. Instead of you um, working with a, a, a JFrame subclass, we are going to work with the console game. Okay, no biggie there. And the play method does a slightly slow, a little bit different change. But all the stuff that you're doing for the actual logic itself, like the add methods, the process guess, the validation methods, the getters that you use to actually retrieve the information, none of that changes. All that stuff stays just the same. And so let's go ahead and do a quick little demo for that right here. Let's go ahead and start. We're going to use a, um, a couple of different celebrities right here. We'll start with Analytical. And she is a celebrity. And she is a Twitter uh, personality, dev specialist Rhea Galanos and Rhea is a celebrity as well and she graduated from teaching to Yext and let's do another um, guest right here let's do Jerome Mitchell and he is a rock star CS teacher and we'll go ahead and start and so we have our first one, we have a rock star teacher. So in our start to begin game, as you can see, it scrolled down this giant space of stuff to try and clear that screen out. If you want to make that a little bit clearer, you can go ahead and add a couple lines to that loop to make that happen. And so our guess is Twitter personality and dev specialist. And so that's analytical. And boom, I graduated um, from teaching uh, to Yext. And we know that's Ms. Rhea Galanos. But I'll spell it wrong and guess again, so it gives us the same clue. And so Rhea. Galanos and boom success rockstar CS teacher and that's going to be Jerome Mitchell and boom I've got no more celebrities to guess and because I have not spent that full minute of time right here I'm just gonna have to type a little bit wait a second and we'll just do a couple of things to get scroll past this and it's giving us the fact that I have no more celebrities to guess so I'm just going to go that right here and I'll run out of time here in just a minute 
Do, 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 do. Ah, time's up. Do you want to play again? If I type in yes, it's going to restart the application. If I type in no, it's going to go back and just end the game. So that's just a quick way we can do a quick demo on this. You can go through and use that same logic you did inside the actual celebrity lab. You just have to make some small changes. So instead of processing text from a GUI field, you're going to process text from scanners, like you've probably done in some of the other exercises. Take a look at the instructions. Use some good logic. I'll put a checklist out inside the uh, uh, web page as well. And you can go from there. Thanks again. Have a good day. Cheers.